you know o to one needle longish needle we are trying to puncture uh, the needle into uh, the cheek so so what's happening is we're taking the ultrasound guidance fluoro is standby and uh, you have to enter very delicately once we enter delicately we put in a soft o14 wire and once a soft o14 wire is inside and little deeper then what we do is this is the o14 soft wire we have put in using an introducer see see we're pushing it now the dark part is quite deep and then there is little stiffer part which is into the vein and then we put in a soft dilator inside or dilator till the curved part and once the dilator is negotiated a uh, whole of the stator segment we remove the wire and then this has to be done slowly and then after that we don't push and over the dilator then we pushed in the five french sheath so this is the five five french sheath which we are into the facial vein now we have this uh, five french sheath here but uh, what we see is oh, i'm trying to get a 3d now so we get a 3d or at least rotate it so now i take a micro catheter and uh, you see the supraophthalmic vein is not filling well now at this moment and uh, i have the sheath in um, the facial vein up to the angular vein now in a micro catheter through it you see this is the lateral view uh, a coil reaching into the cavernous sinus lateral to the cella in fact posterior and lateral that's where the vein was filled started filling i'm starting from the first coil the loops are taking lens are there and just trying to bring it a little back it's a flaccid vein so you know, it has tendency come back you now filling it nicely a longish coil yeah there so this is more spacious in this place and the catheter is jumping now you know moving and it'll take some time yeah there you know we'll just take a little more time so there's a spacious vein there yeah, so you want it to be in the ab abundant place you know take some time maybe we draw a little loop and if it is in line i'm okay i will draw a loop and then okay there may be a spacious pin here so the marker is beyond and now i'll do the electrolytic detachment make sure everything is in place get the electrolytic detachment yeah that's that's a detachment now it's happening bp is quite low detached and um, once that is detached i would draw the delivery wire and you know i keep seeing the reference image on the other plane also I'll try to, to just run one or two detachment. You know, there's a blicker right at the bottom left hand side uh, bottom of the right hand side bottom of the screen. So, nevertheless, 
we will now uh, deliver another coil uh, dialed less but uh, length more because you know we would want to come into into the super ophthalmic vein also a little bit so let me put in some care yeah so the dye injection shows that uh, we have this inferior and super ophthalmic veins filling so i like to come back a bit into the super ophthalmic vein hole of cavernous sinus we filled the track looks good detaching again electric detachment this is what we like we used to and we wait for the ec to show the you know detachment signal uh, partial we would like a more definitive one and uh, the problem with this was this had the super ophthalmic vein not filling due to maybe too much wire manipulation it is difficult to enter so anyway that's our red wire onto the delivery wire of coil and yeah, that's that's a little bit of blip in ecg there we used to a little bit more couple of seconds maybe more the instant detachable coils but then whichever you want to so we're done this is our run through the angular vein there's nothing much there two, two overlapping super ophthalmic veins in there coils in one of them the right one hmm. So I remove the sheath now, finish my procedure and there is some treatment. It's good. How many days have been? 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 वो भी हूँ कह रहे हो पहले तो कह रहे बिल्कुल ठीक है बस वीक में बंद के जो बड़ा मोटा ही बुहेगा तो नहीं है नहीं का ठीक है पूरा ये हाँ ठीक